I was walking through the farmer's market here and noticed some very familiar bottles that are on my uh, on my own baker's rack. And so we're here with Bill from Round Pond in the Napa Valley. How are you, Bill? I'm doing great, thanks. I noticed that you've got a whole new uh, line of products I haven't seen yet because I know that you do these beautifully infused olive oils with fruits from, I believe, that are grown on your property, correct? They're organic fruits, yes, absolutely. And so how is the olive oil created with those the fruit aromatics? Uh, basically what we do, it's a maceration process. So what we do is we actually we, we pick our olives and then we also pick our fruit. We juice the fruit, the juice goes off to the side, and then as we're milling the olives, we actually dump the peelings into the mill and mill everything together. So it's more of a subtle, uh, real fresh, wonderful, fresh oil. We just want the oil from the skin, so we don't want any juice or anything like that. Right, and I noticed too that the, the olive oil really does pack a punch of flavor. I mean, when you say it's Meyer lemon olive oil, you really get that Meyer lemon in there. Absolutely, and we're just, once again, we're just using that wonderful, wonderful oil from the skins. We don't want any sort of, you know, added flavors or anything like that. We just want the pure oil. And I noticed too you have a line of vinegars. Uh, now these are Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot vinegars? Uh, yes, we have a Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot vinegar. We also have a Sangiovese Petit Verdot and Nebbiolo vinegar. And these are not um, the balsamics. These are red wine vinegars. They're actually aged in 10 months in French oak barrel. Really wonderful, very intense red wine vinegars. And are these grapes also grown on these the are, property? These are grown on our property, all estate grown, absolutely. And I see that you've also got now these citrus syrups that you didn't have before. Tell us about those. We do. These are really fun. We released these back in September and uh, before we created these we were actually uh, the juice was just going off to the side we weren't doing anything with it so we created these uh, syrups so we could use everything in our uh, in our product line here and these are really great over cheesecake and cheeses um, pancakes waffles they're just wonderful you can use them in a lot of different ways well, I'm having all sorts of fantasies about oh, them I would, yeah. and they're even amazing. just the colors of the bottles and the labels I mean these beautiful bright fruit colors they're gorgeous they're really really wonderful and so I see that you're, um, you are offering tastings of the vinegar with cubes of sugar. Can you explain to our listeners what that's about? Absolutely. We actually, uh, we like to taste the vinegars over a sugar cube. The sugar cubes helps to mask some of the acids that are in the uh, vinegars, so you can actually taste the flavor profile of the grapes that we made that vinegar out of. So, a lot of fun. Wonderful. Now, is there a website where people can find you? I see you have gift sets available. Oh, absolutely. We've got gift sets. Um, all of these things we can ship just about anywhere you'd like with the oils and the vinegars and the citrus syrups. Uh, we're www.roundpond.com. Um, we also have a new winery that's opening up soon. That'll be open in about six weeks, so you'll have to check back with us for that as well. Okay. And what's that going to be called, Round Pond? Round Pond, absolutely. And uh, just so you know, we also do tours and tastings at our olive mill. We do that three times a day. We do a 10.30, 12.30, and a 3.30, and we just need 24 hours advance notice. A lot of fun. Wonderful. And you also do, do you still do the Olive Oil of the Month Club? I know that you were doing a, a regular... We have a, a Wine and Food Lovers Club and a Food Lovers Club, and those ship four times a year. Wonderful. Bill, thank you so much. Great, thank you. Take Talk care. To you soon. Take care.